Hey everyone, so today we're going to be talking about how to overcome art block. I would like to tell you or remind you, if you are coming back, that this is my first time doing a voiceover, so please be nice, you know, I'm trying my best here. So art block can be like super frustrating, especially when you want to create something, but you just can't really seem to come up with any ideas and you just feel so frustrated and like blocked, I guess. <laughs> so here's how I fix that. So step number one would be to take some time off. I know that sometimes artists can be reluctant to taking time off, but in my opinion, when it comes to art block, you really just don't have a choice, do you? If you can't create something, then why do you keep forcing yourself to do it? It just doesn't make sense. So really, I think the best thing you can do for yourself is to take some time off and kind of just let things work themselves out. For me personally, I like to take about a week off, but depending on your schedule, you know, you can make that decision for yourself. Step number two would be to fill up on inspiration. Now, I don't just mean look for other artists that work in the same medium you do. For example, I do digital art. I'm not just going to be looking at other digital artists. So instead, I like to look at everything, basically. I like to watch like edits on TikTok or TV shows, movies, color palettes, like fonts, graphic design, literally anything that makes you feel inspired, basically. The idea is to like find things that inspire you, that give you that feeling, that it feeling, if you know what I mean. Um, it's not really, you're not really supposed to be looking for things to emulate, just things that make you feel creative. Step number three would be to compile all those ideas, thoughts, and even, I'm sorry to say it, vibes in one place so you can look at all of them together. And step number four is to create. That word feels super scary when you're going through art block, but this is when your inspirations are going to help you. So you're just going to sit down, look at everything that you've compiled, you know, see how you feel when you look at them. Like, look at the color palette, see if there's any connections there just make something it doesn't really matter what it is the point here is that you have to follow through okay so whatever you decide to make you have to follow it through until the end whatever that means for you i guess for me it means to you know sketch it paint it render it to the extreme i guess i think it's really important during this step to keep coming back to your inspirations and refreshing yourself in like the feelings that you get when you look at them and the feelings you want the piece to inspire on the person that sees it. Last week I actually didn't upload a video because I was going through some art block of my own so I took some of my inspirations that I had found through the week and compiled them all into this piece. Looking at it now, I can see that the feeling I was going for isn't exactly there and there's a lot of things I would do differently, but what matters with this exercise is that I managed to create something. Not only that, but I was excited to bring it to life and that's kind of the whole point. You can always go back and make the piece better at a later point, but what's important here is to just make something. I really hope that these like ideas, I guess, help you. And what's important, what's most important is to just be patient with yourself. You know, art block comes and goes. So this isn't going to be the end all be all. You will feel creative again at some point. So, you know, just be patient with yourself and take some time. And that's all for me. Thank you so much for listening to me. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.